Biblical Meditation, Justice, Psalm 9 This relaxation audio is a biblical meditation about justice. Do you struggle with the things that are wrong in the world? Do you want to see justice for those who are oppressed? Psalm 9 is about God bringing about justice for those who have been wronged. This exercise includes meditating on the concept of justice and reading of Psalm 9 from OpenEnglishBible.org. Thank you for listening to Relaxation Audio with Candy. This podcast provides a variety of relaxation scripts for sleep, stress relief, and health. You can find more relaxation downloads at relaxation-audio.com. If you would like to request a relaxation script topic, please contact me on Facebook at facebook.com slash relaxation audio. Start the biblical meditation exercise by getting comfortable and taking a moment to relax. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, imagine letting go of the worries and distractions of your day. Breathe in again and slowly breathe out, preparing to focus on God's word. Breathe slowly for a few moments as you ask God to speak to you through his word today. Release any tension your body may have been holding on to. Let your muscles relax. Allow your shoulders to become loose and relaxed. Let your arms and legs go limp. Close your eyes and be fully present in this moment. Think about the concept of justice. What does justice mean to you? Consider what justice means for you personally. Now think about what justice means on a larger scale for everyone. What is justice? Meditate for a few moments, thinking about justice. Now 
let's read Psalm 9 from the Open English Bible. Psalm 9, a song of praise the Lord's justice. For the leader, Almoth Laban, a psalm of David. With all my heart I will praise the Lord. All your wonders I will rehearse. I will rejoice and exult in you, singing praise to your name, Most High, because backward my foes were turned. They stumbled and perished before you. My right and my claim you have upheld. You did sit on the throne as a fair judge, rebuking the nations, destroying the wicked, and blotting their name out forever and ever. The foe is vanished, ruined forever. Their cities destroyed, their memory perished. See, the Lord is seated forever on the throne he established for judgment ruling the world with justice, and judging the nations with equity. So the Lord proves a haven to the oppressed, a haven in times of trouble. Well may they trust you who know your name, for those who seek you, you never abandon. Sing praise to the Lord, whose home is in Zion. Declare his deeds among the nations. As avenger of blood, he keeps them in mind. He does not forget the cry of the wretched. Show me favor, Lord. See how my foes afflict me. Lift me from the gates of death, so I may, in your help exulting, tell forth your praise at the gates of Zion. The nations are sunk in the pit which they made. In the net that they hid, their own foot is entangled. The Lord is revealed in the judgment he wrought. The wicked are snared in their own handiwork. Let the wicked depart to Sheol, all the nations that live forgetful of God. For the needy will not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the helpless be lost forever. Arise, Lord. Don't let them triumph. Before your face let the nations be judged. Strike them with fear, Lord. Show the nations how frail they are. Meditate on the words you have just heard. Allow God's word to speak to you. Continue to meditate on Psalm 9. What does this psalm say about justice? What do you think God is speaking to you about justice right now? You may want to pray now to ask God to speak to you directly. Go ahead and pray for guidance if you want to. How do the words and messages from Psalm 9 apply to your life right now? Is there anything specific that God is telling you or that you sense that God wants you to know? I'll read Psalm 9 again now, and as you hear these words for a second time, meditate deeply upon the meaning God has for you in this moment. Allow the words to wash over you, filling you with a sense of peace and closeness to God. Psalm 9 With all my heart I will praise the Lord. All your wonders I will rehearse. 
I will rejoice and exalt in you, singing praise to your name, Most High, because backward my foes were turned. They stumbled and perished before you. My right and my claim you have upheld. You did sit on the throne as a fair judge, rebuking the nations, destroying the wicked, and blotting their name out forever and ever. The foe is vanished, ruined forever, their cities destroyed, their memory perished. See, the Lord is seated forever on the throne he established for judgment, ruling the world with justice and judging the nations with equity. So the Lord proves a haven to the oppressed, a haven in times of trouble. Well may they trust you who know your name. For those who seek you, you never abandon. Sing praise to the Lord, whose home is in Zion. Declare his deeds among the nations. As avenger of blood, he keeps them in mind. He does not forget the cry of the wretched. Show me favor, Lord. See how my foes afflict me. Lift me from the gates of death, so I may, in your help exalting, tell forth your praise at the gates of Zion. The nations are sunk in the pit which they made. In the net that they hid, their own foot is entangled. The Lord is revealed in the judgment he wrought. The wicked are snared in their own handiwork. Let the wicked depart to Sheol, all the nations that live forgetful of God. For the needy will not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the helpless be lost forever. Arise, Lord, don't let them triumph. Before your face let the nations be judged. Strike them with fear, Lord. Show the nations how frail they are. Now just relax and meditate, soaking up the strength and peace that God has for you as you focus on his word. Let's conclude this meditation now by taking a moment for you to pray if you want to. Relax for a few more moments as you meditate and pray. You have now completed this biblical meditation exercise. Take a deep breath and open your eyes. Stretch if you want to, becoming fully awake and alert. Remember the messages from Psalm 9 and their application to you personally. Take with you feelings of peace and relaxation as you resume your usual activities.